importance of news and data releases that forex traders need to bear in mind. Now, news and data releases are considered to be leading indicators for the economy in question. The reason why is because they provide us with an idea of direction in which the economy is heading towards. It is because of this that they have the power to turn the market around at any point throughout the day. So what you might see are huge spikes in the upwards or downwards direction at the time of the release. Now one thing you must consider is has the news and data release already been priced into the market? If it has, then realistically little to no investment should take place because the changes on your chart are going to be minor. If it hasn't, then you should trade as normal because you could benefit from the spikes that we mentioned earlier. The other thing you need to consider is the importance of the news and data release. Obviously, the more important the release, the more of a change in the market. And the less the important the release, the less in the change in the market. So realistically, it is the more important news and data releases that you should consider. Now, each country has its own central bank. And the first central bank we're going to discuss is the European Central Bank, otherwise known as the ECB. The reason why the ECB is important is because its decisions affect all countries in the Eurozone, including the UK. They also meet twice per month, so you should take note of when their major releases are due out. We must also consider the Monetary Policy Committee, otherwise known as the MPC, and the Bank of England, usually referred to as BOE. The reason why is because their decision affects the UK. They also meet once every month and they are based in the UK, so you should also take note of when their most important news releases are due out. And lastly, we need to consider the Federal Open Market Committee, otherwise known as the FOMC. The reason why is because their decisions will impact every economy around the world, pretty much. They meet eight times per year, which works out, about five to, uh, works out to about every five to eight weeks. And despite the fact they are based in the USA, they will affect pretty much every economy, simply because the USA is the biggest economy in the world. Now in terms of our trading guide, realistically what you should do is find out who the leading individuals are for every single central bank. Take note of them, learn who they are and find out when they are making their speeches. It is at this time that you could profit from their speeches uh, depending on which direction you are trading into. Also make sure that you use our own economic calendar to, re to find out when those speeches are taking place and also the importance of that speech. And lastly, give the market around 30, minute 30 minutes or so to calm down after every news release so that it can level out and normal trading conditions can come back into play. So as usual guys, uh, give us any comments or let us know if you have any questions and we will see you for the next video. Thank you.